In this exercise, we are asked to find a formula for the nth derivative of f of x equals ln of x. Now, the easiest way to go about doing this is to simply start off by listing a few of those derivatives to see if we can find a pattern. So, we take the first derivative, which, as you should know by now, is simply 1 over x. But we'll see that it's a little bit more helpful if we write it as x to the negative 1 power. Let's take the second derivative, which in this case is negative 1 times x to the negative 2. Or simply negative x to the negative 2. Let's find the third derivative. This case is going to be negative 1 times negative 2 times x to the negative 3, or simply 2x to the negative third. We'll do a couple more. Take the fourth derivative of f with respect to x. This case is 2 times negative 3 times x to the negative fourth power in this case is negative 6 x to the negative 4. And already we should start to see a pattern that the signs of the derivatives are alternating. Here positive, negative, positive, negative. But it may not be clear yet exactly what's happening with the coefficients. So we're going to take one more derivative. Hopefully this will make it a little bit clearer what's going on. I'm going to keep the 2 and the negative 3 here instead of simplifying it to just negative 6. And we'll see why in a second. 2 times negative 3 times the exponent, negative 4, times x to the negative fifth. Or if we multiply all this out, we get 24 x to the negative fifth. But just looking at these numbers may not illustrate the pattern clearly. But if we look over here, we see we have 2, 2 times 3, 2 times 3 times 4, which basically boils down to the factorial function. So let's start constructing our formula for the nth derivative. So we see that the exponents are simply decreasing by 1 each time, and that they match up directly with whatever derivative we're taking. First derivative, negative 1. Second derivative, negative 2. So we'll write that off to the side here. x to the negative nth power is definitely going to be a component of our formula. So next, let's take a look at the, uh, the coefficients. And as we said before, these are going to use the factorial formula. So in this case, it's not going to be n factorial, but n minus 1 factorial. Because here we see that 4 factorial is 24. What's written here is 3 factorial. So n minus 1 factorial. The last thing we need to worry about is the sign that's alternating. And we need to raise negative 1 to some power that's a multiple of n. And the choice is either going to be either n or n minus 1. So let's see here. The first term, or the first derivative, is positive. So that should mean that we use n minus 1. And we can check it fairly easily. If we plug in 1 for n, 1 minus 1 is 0. Negative 1 to the 0th power is positive 1. So that's exactly what we want. And this is our final answer, a formula for the nth derivative of the natural log of x.